Hi everyone, I've had a lot of requests and questions about my dice macro that I use for Roll20, so I thought I'd post up a quick video on how to set it up. Before you get started, um, to make the macro the most visually clear as you can, you'll need the images of six dice faces, including two different coloured faces for the raft dice as shown here. This is so that you can differentiate between the raft rolls and the normal ones. I've attached a link in the description of this video to download those images if you want them. Uh, feel free to create your own or use the ones that I've supplied to change them as you see fit. So in Roll20, if you make your way to the Macros tab on the right side of the toolbar, this is where we're going to be creating our macro and our roll tables. Here you'll have to set up three things, a macro and two roll tables. I've opened up the macro box and the two roll table boxes here so that you can see the full picture. Create your roll tables first. You'll need two so that the macro can pull from both of them. I have called these roll and wrath so that you can remember what they both do. Essentially you'll want to copy the values on the screen because obviously 1 to 3 is a fail or a zero value, uh, 4 and 5 are a value of 1 or a single icon and the 6 is a value of 2 or an exalted icon. Once you put the table info in, you want to create your macro. I've called this one roll to keep it nice and simple. Uh, this will create a button on the screen for both you and your players. So just make sure that you enable the macro quick bar by ticking the box on the right shown here. Simply input the formula on the action box and you're good to go. I've included the macro formula in the description of the video so that you can copy and paste it straight into your macro box. And this is what it ends up looking like. Here you can see you can put any dice value into the box and um, it will spit out the formula for you. Um, here I've just used a dice roll of 8 and um, there you go. I hope this tutorial helps and thanks very much.